here at the School of Public Health, this all comes down to doing good science. We think about the health of populations, not just the disease of populations. In the department, we want to understand how the epidemiology of health behaviors affect chronic disease in the short term and the long term. We really want to understand what promotes health. I was an exercise and movement science major as an undergrad, and there was this disconnect between wanting to promote community-wide health and health behaviors and not really seeing that in my classes. The idea of public health gives you an opportunity to study what populations need to really engage in lifelong healthy behaviors. At Mailman, I got connected with Heather Greenlee. I run a number of behavioral interventions as well as observational studies looking at what individuals can do to either prevent cancer from occurring or help control cancer from progressing. The MET study is the microbiome exercise and tracking study. We're finding more and more that there's a lot of evidence in our gut about a lot of chronic diseases. Essentially what we're looking at is whether or not physical activity might change certain biomarkers in the colon that are important for prevention of colorectal cancer. There's many, many factors. There's environmental factors, genetic, institutional, behavioral factors. What we do in epidemiology is we use our skills to determine which factors are the most important, and then we can figure out how to intervene. We have this new study that is focused on dietary and physical activity intervention with Latina breast cancer survivors. This study came out of a partnership with a group here called Cook for Your Life. The women come in on four weekend mornings, and the sessions are a combination of nutrition and physical activity education, so we do food shopping field trips with them, cooking classes with them, dance class with them. So as the science unfolds, they're able to take this information and incorporate it into their own lives. What can I do in my lifetime that will bring the biggest impact? Getting the training that you need is definitely a step in that direction. We want to go above and beyond and, and create health rather than just preserve it.